My name is Sharina Ori and I work as the Inclusion Officer in the University of Applied Sciences. Before the Inclusion Office started, there was a, a project, uh, a task force uh, called Task Force Diversity and Inclusion. And before the task force, we signed the European Diversity Charter. Uh, and that was in 2018. And in the beginning of 2019, the task force started. Uh, and the task force consisted of staff members and student members uh, from different departments within the university. In the Diversity Charter we signed as the Aik University, uh, we committed to a couple of uh, uh, proposals, to a couple of uh, things we um, agreed on as the Aik University with the Charter. Um, one of the things was, for example, we have a trainee program and that trainee program focuses on um, getting younger teachers at the Aik University um, so first generation students uh, that just graduated from their bachelor studies, uh, they could apply for that trainee program. Um, so we, that, this way we get younger uh, teachers at the Hague University from different backgrounds. So that was one of the things um, that we as the task force um, uh, could implement in the Hague University. The inclusion office officially started in September 2022 and that's when I also officially started as, in my role as inclusion officer. Uh, my role is to uh, work on different topics uh, uh, from inclusion. Uh, we also have a policy that's called an inclusive uh, uh, higher uh, school of education. Um, and in this policy we have different principles. Uh, the first one um, focuses on uh, anti-discrimination, first principle. The uh, second one focuses on inclusive interaction. And the third one focuses on inclusive governance. And if you think of inclusive governance, you can think of, uh, for example, HRM processes or um, accessibility within the building. We have an internship point, and this internship point um, is um, for students, by students. So uh, students can come to that uh, internship point when they face discrimination issues, uh, when they apply for an internship or when they are already started their internship and they face discrimination, for example, on uh, their working place. Some of the challenges are um, from staff members that uh, face, for example, microaggressions. Some or some students, um, teachers can say some stuff or some things. Uh, they maybe they meant well with their remarks, um, but it comes off different on students or on um, colleagues, for example. So sometimes we get those um, colleagues or students that come to us as the inclusion office. And we look with those students and colleagues for what what can we do? How can we mean something uh, for, for example, for a team of lecturers? Um, and sometimes we offer trainings, for, for example. To be an educational institution that is open to everyone and that you can really be yourself, um, that you bring your whole identity with you, all your talents, but also maybe if you have issues with, with learning or maybe have 
um, some special educational needs that you can also be here at the Hague University and we, we can guide you and in, in four years you will have your uh, bachelor degree for example uh, but also for staff members uh, that we are open for uh, everyone and we can also help in, in finding um, for example, um, a, a coaching you um, uh, and, and, and giving you a specific guidance on how to be a great teacher or staff member or in any other department. Mm -hmm.